Ayo, duckies! Andy Lip here, back with another stream about video. You know that we're doing stream about all week. We're giving it the best launch possible. So, you know how we've got, like, welcome messages that we were making in, like, the Orange Board and stuff like that? We've converted one over. Big, huge shout-out to Geosim for this one. As he already did the hard work for me, I'm just doing a video about it. So, I'm going to take credit. No, I'm not joking. It's all good. Go and check Geosim out. The link is in the description down below. So, you know the welcome message I'm on about? You know the Andy Lippy welcome messages that we've got on? On, uh, stream up if I just type in chat here you'll see it just greets me with my profile picture as you can see there says my name and says welcome to the stream my little ducky it can say absolutely anything you want in there it is completely randomized it's super easy to install and yeah that's pretty much it let's get into it put your rock over the stone let's go Right, so as I said, this video is about StreamerBot, so you'll have to make sure you have got StreamerBot installed, downloaded, all that jazz. Uh, if you need to know how to do that, see my previous video as well. I'll leave the link down below, and I'll bang it up here, all that jazz. You know where it is. Uh, so get it all downloaded. I'm not going to go through the install process. I'm just going to show you how to make, basically, a welcome message for anybody's first words inside uh, of Twitch. So I've got my OBS just here, and I'm just going to create a blank scene for now uh, if I just go down here create this and I'll call it welcome message and uh, all we're gonna do is just use a standard uh, text source for this so I'm just gonna put a text source in here and we'll put call it um, welcome uh, username uh, no in fact welcome message just like so because I'm gonna show you a very basic one to start with as you can see since it's OBS, we can just type anything we want in here. We can change all of the font if we want to. I'm going to change it to the one and only. Um, sorry. 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 It's got to be done. It's got to be done. This one's just for silver. I love you, sir. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm just going to press OK and leave it as that for now. In fact, I'll add a background to it as well. So if we put it on another scene, we'll be able to see it. So I'm going to press OK. And right now, we want it to basically come up and just say something like the, to the stream. That's what we want it to say. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller just by resizing it like so. Uh, and we can put it anywhere we want on the scene. I do control D if I want it in the middle uh, and anything like that. So I'm just going to leave it like that. That is our welcome message. Done. Easy. But now we need to obviously add some kind of logic to it. So when somebody does come into the chat uh, and types their first message, then it will say their name. Welcome to the stream. So jump into Streamerbot. And you've got all your different actions on the left hand side on the actions panel. The, the actual event that we're going to be using, if you go across to settings and go to events and then general, the one that we're going to be using is the first words just here. And this auto resets every 12 hours. You can change that. You can reset it anytime you want as well. And we're going to be setting up an action to basically use anytime somebody does first words. There are different variables that we can use in here as well. So if we press this little question mark, it'll say what variables we can use uh, on here. So the user's display name, Twitch login name, or Twitch ID. We're just going to be using user variable so it's percent sign user percent sign so we need to remember that remember that get it get it saved get it beep, 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 beep. get it saved in there so if we go up to actions we need to create an action now so i'm going to create a um add just here i'm going to create an action i'm going to call it welcome message just like so we can add it into a group if we want to uh, obviously add it to a queue as well we're going to be going into more videos about queues later on so i'm going to press ok now and right now, we've got an absolutely just blank sub action. This is where we're going to tell this main action what we want it to do anytime that it's triggered. So we want it to put um, username, welcome to the stream, aren't we? So really, really easy method of this. We're just going to right click, press add action, go down to OBS and go to set GDI text. Because we're just using a text GDI. That is, that's all we're doing. The scene that we're currently on will automatically be populated, which is really handy. So you can see we're on the welcome message scene. And the source that we're going to use is welcome message just there. So you can see we can choose any scene that we want to. The source, we can use the drop downs as well to choose whichever source we're on. And if you remember, we want the percent sign user percent sign. Because we're going to pull that person's username that 
has triggered this basically is what's going to happen and then we want to put um any text as well in here so i'm going to put welcome to the stream explanation mark we can actually do a test as well so if i press test here and zoom out and go back to obs you'll see it just says percent sign user percent sign welcome to the stream that means we know that we've used the correct sources um for this and this is going to work now because uh, obviously that variable is not actually holding any data at the moment so if i press ok we've created this that's it our basic welcome message is made so we can go back to settings and go back to events, then general, and go to first words. And on the drop down, we're just gonna go to welcome message, which should be the bottom one because it's the most recently added. I'm gonna press that. I'm gonna press reset because I've obviously already spoken in my chat. So that's not gonna work. <laughs> obviously, it's not gonna work at all if you're not connected to Twitch as well. So make sure you are connected to Twitch. Uh, and then now, when I type in test, this will change to Andy Lippy, welcome to the stream. So I'm gonna type in test, Andy Lippy, welcome to the stream. Easy as that, we've got a welcome message now. Obviously, there are a few things that we can do, because if we, we use that, it's going to be on screen all the time. So we can add a show and hide source if we want to. So we'll go back to actions on Streamabot, and we're going to go to the sub actions of welcome message, and we're going to add an action for OBS, and go for uh, set source visibility state just here. And we're already selected here welcome message the welcome message source and we're going to turn it to visible because we want it to be visible so i'm going to press ok and i want this to be uh, this to happen before the text um well after the text is turned on don't i because i want to make sure the text has changed then the source comes active so make sure the text changes first and then the source vi visibility turns to visible so it's available then we want it to be on screen for a little while and then turn off so to make that we need to add an action and a delay so we need to delay after that action we'll say we'll leave it on for for two seconds shall we so 2000 milliseconds you can do random times if you want to which is pretty cool but i'm just gonna leave it on for two seconds and then just press ok and then we need it to turn off so uh, one way that we can do this is we can do Control d but that's not working <laughs> so we can right click and go to duplicate action sometimes my keyboard shortcuts don't work i think it's to some admin privileges my computer's dumb dumb uh, so i've duplicated it and it saves us having to find that exact setup again and then we can change it to the the visibility state to hidden so right now this is saying we're going to change the text to the the welcome message for the person's name and welcome to the stream turn the source on wait two seconds turn the source off and then something that I like to add as well is another delay at the end to make sure that it doesn't kind of get spammed. So I usually add like a second delay maybe as well and press OK. So now it, it just adds a second wait time before the next one is triggered. So that's it. It's done. If we go back to settings and press reset so we can test it. I'm going to zoom back out, go back to OBS, uh, and I'm going to just type any random stuff in here, blah, 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 and I'm going to turn the source off. So now the source is completely turned off, and let's see if it's going to turn on and turn itself off when we type in here. There we go. Turns on and turns off after two seconds. As easy as that. The next question you're probably going to ask, though, is on the... Uh, if you've not set up a queue system it's going to basically multi-trigger so we need to tell it not to kind of um trigger more than one time uh, more than once at one time otherwise you'll end up with it constantly changing name which look a little bit weird so the way that we do that is if we go to settings and then go to general you'll have action queues just here this is a basic way of doing the queue we turn blocking on because we want to make sure that n basically anything in this queue will get queued up and it doesn't play so i'm going to type in welcome message just here and then i'm going to press add and that'll get added to these queues just here so then what i can do is go back to actions and we had the welcome message here if i right click and press edit so the queue we're going to add it to is the welcome message queue that we just created. Press OK. And that is it. That's going to be in its own queue now. So if more than one person types in uh, a message at once and it's their first message, it'll play the first one, wait a second, play the second one, wait a second, play the third one, and so on. So you've got that all queued up now. And as simple as that, you have got 
your welcome message that you can use on anything. Obviously, if we want to put that on another scene, all we need to do is do a nested scene. So in OBS, go to whichever scene you want, like my just chatting scene just here. We go to add uh, scene, and then we find the welcome message scene that we created earlier, which is just here. Uh, select that and press OK and now it will show up on screen so I'm going to reset in settings go to events and then I'm going to go to reset for the first words once again zoom out and if I type in test or whatever into my chat you'll see it'll pop up on screen stays there two seconds turns off and that's it you've got a very basic welcome message now let me give you a cheeky little freebie for this It'll be the, it's basically the same as the stream or uh, welcome message, but we're going to be doing an official one later on down the line because we've got some stuff planned for you. So to do this installation, you're going to need the source copy plugin from Exceldro that's on the OBS forum. I'll leave a link down in the description as well. And there's a video here if you don't know how to install it and get it running. Uh, th th this guy's handsome, whoever he is, he, he knows what he's doing apparently. So that's all we need for this. So we're going to start up in OBS first, and I'm going to go to Tools. We're going to go to Source Copy. Again, if you're not seeing that, it means you've not installed it correctly. And we're going to go to Load Scene. Okay. So press Load Scene. And I know I've stored mine on my desktop. You're going to download this from the streamer bot discord okay there'll be a zip file in there um i'm going to point you in the right direction of it just now if i pull it up it'll be under the examples thread though it'll be in there ready for you to download so join the the discord again i'll leave the link down below and we're going to go and open andy lippy welcome message obs scene press open and that's going to load, nothing's going to, it's going to look like it's not done anything. But if we scroll down on the left hand side, you'll see we've got welcome stream up minim. And we've got it all here. We turn these sources on and you'll see it animates, which is pretty slick there. That's it, your welcome message is done. No, I'm joking. We need to import it into Streamerbot. So if we go to our desktop, which I'm just going to go to for one second. Uh, let's lose some of these windows, shall we? There's so many windows. There'll be three files in the zip folder that I've given you. There'll be the welcome message that we just did, the JSON file into OBS. We've got the welcome message text, and we've also got this welcome message streamer bot action. So if you double click the welcome message streamer bot action, it'll just be just pure hackage just here. All we're going to do is select all with control A and then copy it with control C and close that down. Go into streamer bot go to actions and then we're going to right click and go to import just in this main action window just here press import and the string we're going to import we just paste it directly into there and you'll see it will get converted to andy lippy welcome message do you want to import it we say import yes done and now we'll see we've got the andy lippy welcome message here at the top with all the information on the right hand side there is a few things that you'll need to do so if you see down here, this will have all the information that we're going to be using and whatnot. All these uh, profile pictures and things like that should be exactly the correct um, thing because you've already installed the same scenes that I have, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to press OK on them. The one that we need to change is the read random line. So if you double click on this and basically we need to navigate to where this random welcome message .txt is. So if I press the ellipsis on this window and we go to the desktop because that's where I've put mine and we're going to find random welcome message .txt and double click that and press OK. That is it. Now it's all set up. The, what's going to be happening on this is it's going to get the information and load people's logo into the... Um, the browser source then it's going to change the text to their username and also change the text to the random welcome message and then it's also going to start animating it as well and that is basically it we jump to settings we go to first words like we did previously under the events tab on the drop down go to andy lippy welcome message i'm going to press reset again so we can test it otherwise it's not going to work which is not not cool i'm going to jump back into obs and you'll see it just down here it won't look like there's anything there at all, but when I type into chat and press chat, you'll see it'll wait a second whilst it's pulling all the information correctly. 
So something I've just noticed, you might need to go down the sub actions just here and say go to the browser source one, any one that has like longer text on it, we just double click into it, make sure it's linked to profile picture that's under the welcome stream up minim scene and press OK. We go down to the OBS GDI text and uh, just make sure that's connected to username. The next one that says message, make sure that's connected to the message one. Press OK. Um, and keep repeating this for any of the source visibilities. So the first one's profile picture. Yep, that's set up fine. Username. Yep, that's fine. Message. That's fine as well. Press OK. Uh, username again. Yep, that's fine. And basically just open and shut these. I'm not sure if this is just a bug. I will make sure I uh, pass the info on to Nate. Uh, I'm going to go back and press reset once again and type in test. And now we should get some animated sections just down the bottom here. As you can see, the profile picture comes on. It says, Andy LP, welcome to the stream, my little ducky. And then it will animate out as well. Easy as that. So we can change the delays as well. Feel free to mess about with the, the actions just here in StreamerBot to, to suit your need and everything like that. Similar to what we did before as well, you can go and put it onto a different scene like we did. So if I go to my Just Chatting scene, right click, press Add, go to Scene and go down to the, where is it? Welcome, Stream Up Minim, just here. We put it anywhere we want on screen as well. We can resize it uh, and such. So I'm gonna go and reset once again. Time to test. And you'll see it'll animate onto this screen. Like I say, we can resize it if we want to. We want it nice and small, just in the corner. You can set it up to however you want on your stream, which is pretty cool. It's completely editable. One last thing before I shoot off though, is if we go to the random welcome message TXT file, double click into that, you'll be able to see we can put as many different lines as we want just here. So you can keep adding stuff going, howdy, Hey up, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah, and just keep writing random stuff, and we will just put it will load completely random. Press Control S to save, close it down. Going to reset again here. Go back to OBS, time to test again, and we should get a random message pop up and fill inside this box just here you'll get howdy which we just added there so you can add as many different messages as you want and that's everything i know where the thing is with these bots there's so much that you can do with them there's so much to kind of cover and breaking it down into sections can be a bit of a nightmare i know some of these videos go on a little bit longer but i like to show you what you can do um uh, and how i've kind of built up what i've just created and then give you a good example that you can use because i like to give you free stuff that's the way it is if you want to support me then consider joining patreon or the channel members down below and if you want to know more about StreamerBot, join their Discord. Subscribe to me because I'm going to be doing tons of videos on it. And that's pretty much it. Put your rug over the stone, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.